base a été détruite. Il faut que j'en prenne deux minutes là. La base a été détruite. Il y a eu un bombardement là-bas aussi. À l'instant. Voilà. Les gens qui disent que c'est pas vrai. Voilà, la base vient d'être bombardée. On s'en va. J'ai des copains qui sont morts. Donc on se recule, on se barre. La base a été détruite. Il faut que je reprenne deux minutes là. Voilà. La base a été détruite. Et il y a eu un bombardement là-bas aussi. À l'instant. Voilà. Les gens qui disent que c'est pas vrai. Ah, attends, on est rentré par où là euh... Yeah. It's a plane. Yeah, so if you only have six. That's This morning, approximately 5 a.m., was bombed by uh, Russian troops uh, on our international peacekeeping center. Uh, so it's all over the world known center because a lot of militaries all over the world they have like a trainings a long years before, and so they have training there. At that uh, so it was it was right now it's used for for our Ukrainian military, but it's all over the world known, and so it's like a, like it was highly equipped, and so a lot of a lot of buildings and so it was uh, uh, attacked by Russians and so it's very sad news that officially um, regional military administration gave information that uh, 35 our Ukrainians were killed, military 35 and, killed. Yeah, and so more than, more than 100 were injured. If any of you guys have seen interviews of the situation going on in Ukraine, you've probably seen this guy. Is it true that they're sending people to the front lines without weapons and gear? Yeah, there's definitely people who are getting sent up forward, very close to the front, and they're on bases up there with no weapons so far. And they're being asked to patrol the base in Kiev without weapons. It's not bullshit. Whoever's telling you that is lying. People that have gone before us... Um, have reported back to us saying that they were not given a weapon three days after being there They're not issued a weapon 
These are people that we were going to go with. We were about to get sent, and we said, no, we're not going to go without gear or weapons. I have gear. He has gear, but a lot of guys that are with us, a lot of people from the UK don't have gear, and they weren't being issued gear. And even if you were issued a gun, you were given a magazine with 10 rounds. That's not okay. So for any of you who are wondering what is going on, all right, we were part of the Georgian National legion the 102nd ukrainian territorial defense okay our base got fucked up the base right next to us got fucked up americans british tons of british dead all right they're not saying nothing they're counting our dead as their dead they're trying to send us to kiev with no fucking weapons no kit no fucking plates the people who are lucky enough to get weapons are only getting magazines with like 10 fucking rounds okay when they wanted to send us to kiev we said no our whole group a bunch of americans canadians british so they told us we had to get the fuck out of they were going to shoot us in the back all right so me this british guy and another american we fucking hid in the back of an ambulance to get out we we got to the border and it, it was a whole nother mess when you get to the border, anyone who has kit, anyone who has any military shit, they're fucking pulling you out of the line and they're sending you back to the front. This human, we got dropped off about five clicks from the fucking, uh, from the border and we walked. Um, and we get to the border in this humanitarian group with a bunch of ex-SF veterans from England, uh, pull us to the side and say, you need to get, like, pulled us out and fucking like hit us and they were like you need to dump all your kit and they're pulling people out cutting up passports sending them back so we dumped our shit we got like in all of our fucking we got in like red cross vests and they had like fucking humanitarian passes to get us through the ukrainian border people need to stop coming here it's a trap and they're not letting you fucking leave the best way to leave is like in a Vic or a car or something. People who get on by vehicle have a better chance of hiding their fucking kit in the back, doing whatever the fuck they can, but do not try to leave Ukraine on foot if you're a volunteer. It's a mess. And it's it, it's a trap. And I have multiple people who can confirm this story for me. I'm getting...